up guys? Welcome back to Counter Steer Garage. I'm slowly becoming the spark plug guy. Today we're gonna replace the spark plugs in my VFR. Let's go. So before we start pulling the bike apart, let's get a visual on where the spark plugs are. The front two are fairly easy. If we get in here, you can see the coil here and the coil here. Those will be fairly easy. We can go straight through the middle with a nice long extension. Now the back two are here. Here's our cylinder head. If I peel this back, you can see that's the ignition coil there. It is not under the seat, it's under the tank. So we're gonna have to lift the tank and then we can access the spark plugs. So we're gonna eat the frog, we're gonna do the rears first. So let's get the seat off, get the tank up and see what we're working with. So the tools you're gonna need, pretty standard stuff here. You've got a quarter inch ratchet, nice long extension. It's got a wobble on the end of it. Not necessary, but it helps. Eight millimeter and 10 millimeter. Those don't necessarily need to be deeps but they help on the 3 8 side we have a couple of assorted extensions wobble joints and a straight one just to kind of help with the front coils you have a 5 8 spark plug socket and a five millimeter allen socket a regular allen key will work as well but that is everything you need to do this job So now we've got the back of the tank elevated and we have access to the two coils. Pretty easy from here. Now we're just gonna squeeze and pull the connector and then the coil just pulls right out. Now we go to the other side. Now we squeeze and pull the connector and then the coil actually let's pull this off coil got a 5 8 spark plug socket six inch extension it doesn't need to be a wobble but that helps a little bit drop it right down that hole and we're going to do it Yeah, so if you look at the tip of this thing, it's worn a little bit. The ground is a little tapered and worn. It doesn't look terrible, but definitely do. The bike's got 21K on it, and uh, it looks like these are probably never done. So, good call doing them. Now the other side, same thing, got a little bit of wear on the, the ground electrode there, but otherwise looks pretty healthy, um, but definitely do. So let's put some new ones in now. Plug is in, coil down the hole, coil plugged in. This doesn't have to be crazy tight, just a little meat like that. And we're done. On to the other side.
plug is done. Coil goes, can't see it, there we go. In, plug goes click. And that's that for the rears. Any hoses that we took off, we wanna put back on and the clamps. And the rear is done. Now we're gonna bolt the tank down, finish this up before we go to the fronts. The hard ones are done. And it's all downhill from here. Out the front of the engine now, we're gonna reach in and unplug both coils. This one is up top. Okay, tuck those out of the way. Then we're gonna get in there with our 10 mil and see if we can loosen these. Woo, that one was tight. Now we just pull the coils out. There's coil number four and coil number two. So the trick for the front ones is to use multiple wobble extensions. More of the same, pretty messed up, but not terrible. So there's one thing that you must do anytime you do engine work. Gotta make her sing. So that's the end of the spark plugs quick video today it was an easier one a whole lot easier than doing it on a flat four but yeah I'm gonna probably do some more how to's just because you guys like them and they get views and views make me money so anywho hit that subscribe button smash that like button and I'll see you guys next Taco Tuesday